All right, now that we've talked about the kind of damage caused to your neck and to your back after you've been involved in a car accident with the misaligning of the bones and the pinching of the nerves, the next thing we're going to talk about are the changes that we see on x-rays after you've been involved in a car accident. This first x-ray here is an x-ray of your neck like we're looking at you from the side. This is the back and this is the front. This is what's considered a normal spine. The first thing I want you to take a look at here is the shape of the curve. What you're going to notice is there's a nice gradual forward curve that exists in your neck. And this curve is important because the neck has to support the head and this neck is going to act like a big spring or a big shock absorber whenever you walk or run. Now this next x-ray over here is a picture of somebody who's been involved in a car accident. And the biggest difference between this x-ray here and this one here is the shape of the neck. What you're going to see here is this nice normal curve we once had has become straightened out. This is what's called a whiplash type spine or a whiplash neck. Now people who come into our office who've been involved in a whiplash type injury usually complain of things such as neck pain, migraines, headaches. They may have some numbness into their arms and into their hands or pain across their shoulders. What they'll also complain about sometimes is that their head feels very heavy and that they have trouble looking over their shoulders when they're driving a car. It's important to understand that taking muscle relaxers, painkillers, and anti-inflammatory drugs, they're not going to fix or correct this problem. They're just going to cover up the pain and cover up the symptoms. This is why many times people will come into our office many years after a car accident still complaining of pain. Now, if this problem isn't corrected, gradually over time, it's going to get progressively worse. This leads to a condition called post-traumatic arthritis, degenerative joint disease, osteoarthritis. You'll notice that the neck is very straight. There's no cervical curve in this spine. You have severe bone loss, disc thinning, some bone spurs in through here, which, by the way, are extremely painful. And a lot of these bones have actually fused together. When someone walks into our office with this spine through here, all we can do is help them manage their pain. This problem here cannot be corrected. This is why it's very critical that we catch your spine in this phase in through here. Taking this injured spine, this straightened spine, and gently moving these bones back into their proper position, back into their proper alignment, and restoring the normal curve in your neck. And again, taking muscle relaxers, painkillers, anti-inflammatories, they're not going to fix or correct this whiplash spine. They're just going to cover up the pain and cover up the symptoms. The way we fix this spine and gently move these bones back into their proper position, back into their proper alignment, is with chiropractic care and rehab in our office.